So this example, we're going to deposit 400 each month. So that right away is a monthly deposit. So it's periodic deposits. And we know that the deposit D is 400. Now it's monthly. So right away, I know the compounding periods. K is 12. That's the number of compounding periods in a year. Number of months in a year is 12. 2% 2 interest. So right away, I know the rate as a decimal is 0 0.02. Okay, so we have to decide which of these three do we want to use. And we want to know how many months will you need. So we want to know how much time. So we want to find n. What is n? The time in years. Now, we really want to do is find the years, and then this answer is going to be 12 times n. It's the number of months is 12 times the number of years. Okay, so which formula do we want? We want to find n, so we're going to use this last one, which is solved for n. So let's go ahead and write this one out, right on the left, n equals log of r times pn divided by dk plus 1 divided by k log of 1 plus r over k. Now there's a few reasons I circled this. One of them is so you would know which one I was using, but I really did it so I would know which one I was using. What you don't want to do is write the numerator here and the denominator down there. That would not be good. So I strongly recommend that you, uh, you probably want to write all over your flow chart, but you can use your hand or a note card to point to the one that you're actually using and rewriting. Okay, so I have it written down, ready to put in all the values. So R is 0 0.02 times PN, which I didn't write down. That's the final value right there. 5800000. Zero, 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 zero. divided by D is 400 times K is 12 plus 1 divided by K is 12 times log 1 plus 0 0.02 over K is 12. Okay, so we're ready to put this in the calculator. So we'll start with the log. So again, I'm on desmos.com. Their calculator, this is a scientific calculator. And I need to start with the log, so it's over in function. Log, go back to main. Oops, I already had a parenthesis. You can undo, you can redo as well. So we want log 0 0.02 times 5800 divided by 400 times 12. Now at this point too, it's okay that it's down here in front. Uh, if you're worried, you can definitely go up here and do 0 0.02 times like that. Now there's a plus one, happens at the end. Now divided by 12 times, back to function log, back to main, one plus, 0 0.02 divided by 12, close parenthesis. All right, and this is how many months? This is 61.48. All right, so... We have to multiply that by 12. I don't know why there's a dollar sign right here in the answer. That's making me a bit skeptical. All right, so let's do K 
copy that, paste times 12. All right, I don't know what that, that dollar sign is doing there. But anyways, and it equals this. So 12n equals that number we just saw a few seconds ago, 737.81. All right, and that will be the answer to the first one. All right, now the next part's in here. Let's get a little more room. How much total money uh, will you put in the account? We could have computed that earlier. So part B, total money, we did $400 per month. Now there's 12 months in one year. And we did this for a long time. Actually, we can just go right off the number of months if we want to. So let's do that. We don't need to convert months to years. We'll go right off 737.81 months. All right, what happens here, the month divided by month cancels, and then we just have whatever this 400 times 737.81. That's the answer to part B. You can do that on the calculator, that's no problem, just a multiplication. How much interest will you earn? Well, once you know how much you put in, uh, the interest is the difference between the account value and how much you put in. So you subtract those two and you get the interest that you earned. It's the amount of money you got that you did not put in. So that comes from all the interest.